It's being built as a significant breakthrough for those struggling to have or expand a family. The provincial government says it's moving to triple the number of families who can receive publicly funded IVF treatments. A new tax credit would also be offered to those who pay out of their own pockets. Today's announcement will make it easier and faster than ever before for more families to access key fertility treatments and care closer to home. This means not just increased access to treatment, but also the expansion of fertility clinic capacity and a significant reduction of wait lists in hospitals and community settings. The province is investing $150 million over the next two years to expand the capacity of current fertility programs. The proposed tax credit would cover up to $5,000 per year of related expenses for privately funded treatments, including IVF cycles and fertility medication. Today's announcement is welcome news for one woman who went through the difficult process of IVF not once, not twice, but four times before conceiving. Our Jasmine Graywall spoke with her earlier today. The road to motherhood is not always an easy path and many Canadians have no choice but to seek medical treatments like IVF to expand their families. Now I spoke to Brianna, a recent mother who went through the journey not once but four times and got her reaction on the province boosting its funding for the program. It's definitely a step in the right direction. When we, back in 2021, we did use the um, Ontario Fertility funding to do our first round of IVF and it was a huge help but there were still so many other expenses that we had to pay out of pocket for um, and then our of course our three additional rounds of IVF were not covered so again more expenses. Brianna and her husband began their fertility journey back in 2021 and says everything from lawyers to surrogates to the four IVF treatments ended up costing around $100,000 and while they're fortunate enough to pay thousands out of pocket Brianna acknowledges that's not the reality for everyone. The financial struggles that go along with these journeys are very real. And the thought of not being able to have a child just because of the financial burden, it just, it breaks my heart. Dr. Prathi Sharma, a fertility specialist at Create Fertility Centre in Toronto, says she was overjoyed by the additional funding announcement from the province. I have seen so many patients who need IVF and fertility treatment and just cannot proceed with the treatment they need because they don't have access to any funding to help them pay for what's a very, very expensive course of treatment. Dr. Sharma adds IVF can cost anywhere between $15,000 to $25,000 for one treatment, so any extra financial help is a step in the right direction. The province is set to invest $150 million over the next two years towards the Ontario Fertility Program, along with offering a proposed tax credit of up to $5,000 that can be used towards fertility medications, travel for treatment, and diagnostic testing. While Dr. Sharma is grateful for the additional funding, there are still many answers she and other fertility experts have about the program. How will these funds get distributed? Will they go to existing clinics or will they go to all new clinics? Will the funds get distributed equally to all clinics? The province will include further information about its fertility program when it comes time to announce its budget for 2025. Dr. Sharma adds the wait to access funding could take more than two years, depending on the clinic, and she's really hoping that this additional funding could speed things up for the couples who so badly want to expand their families. At Queen's Park, Chazen Graywall, City News.